somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at 2023's Air. Now, this is one that a lot of people were excited to see. Of course, it has Michael Jordan, the story of Nike. A lot of big stars in here. I simply can't wait to get to it. Yeah, when we saw, I saw the trailer early on, I was definitely intrigued, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see the true story of how the Jordans came to be Jordans. I did a report on Phil Knight in sixth grade, which was very <laughs> exciting. So you Where can imagine. You should have brought it with you. You can imagine the excitement that's been building from 1992 <laughs> until right now. Uh, but no. A uh, big fan of Jordan back in the day, um, you know, was in high school during a majority of his big, you know, six-year run as champions. Obviously, a little break in between, but love all the actors. Really excited. If this was 1990, uh, actually 96 through 98, I would have been able to tell you every stat of every bull player. I had them all. I had the stat sheets, newspapers. Even it was Luke newspapers back then. Bill Cartwright. Luke. Well, that was it would the have first been Ron Harper. Feet. All those guys, Steve Kerr, all of them. Uh, so, also, in the original Look package, at that, still, gents, I'm never opening plastic. this. Still in the plastic, Look. the three-peat, three-peat shirt from 98. Yeah, never opened. Yeah. What, if, yeah. Yeah. what if you wanted Jordan to sign it? And no, the inside the bag. I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> Just keep it. Just don't touch it. Jordan, <laughs> don't smudge it with your signature. <laughs> I'm good. That being said, let's go! Don't forget about Nike. Well, I'll see you guys at Regionals in two weeks, yeah? It's weird to think they had to do that back in the day. Oh, the Femmes. Nice. The pride of Milwaukee. Great music so far. Ooh. Okay, we're getting the numbers here. Oh, wow. Ooh. And this is when Nike was the, the mm. low on the, mm -hmm. on the totem pole. Well, I didn't show Reebok. Was Reebok a thing yet? No, no, no. I'm not too hardcore of a no, no, no. shoe guy. There's Chris Tucker. Someone help us out in the comments on that one. Yeah. We need some more players, sonny. You got to get me somebody else. Well, we got Moses. I was up in the club with him 3 o'clock in the morning last <laughs> night trying to get him out there because he got 5 o'clock practice. Yeah. <laughs> he hoop with the owls all night and fly with the eagles in the morning. Yeah, I could not do what you do. No, you can't do what I do. You can hardly do what the hell you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> That new slogan, the one for the whole company that they're talking about? I don't like it. You know where it came from? No. That damn slogan came from a convict about to get executed in front of a fire. Just do it? <laughs> Just do it? Yeah. That's where that comes from? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a fitting metaphor for the way basketball is viewed at this company. I know. Nike, just get this shit over with. <laughs> <laughs> no turpin. What do you like about his game? He made the Final Four last year. He's got good vision. He had 33 assists last season. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be a good player in Europe in four years. <laughs> <laughs> pick in the draft. Nobody's going to give you shit for saying you like the sixth pick in the draft. Yeah, I'm just I'm okay. some fucking asshole, Sonny. You're oh. not an asshole. No, he's got great vision. Sonny's no. trying. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shit. <laughs> This is the Jason Bateman I love. What about Jordan? Oh, Sonny, we can't get fucking Michael Jordan, okay? I listened to Falk for three hours. He's too expensive. Mr. Hi, Fred. sir. Huh? Hello. <laughs> hi. Richard. Hi, hi, Richard. Hi, I'd love to get some time on your calendar. Okay, that sounds fun. Can you let Doreen know? Roger that, we will do. Roger, thank you. Yeah, yeah, just rogering you back there. That's what that was, okay? <laughs> 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 just... <laughs> There, uh, thank you. There, uh... <laughs> Things change. Places grow. That's true. Everyone hey, looks miserable. want some dessert? It's Sunday bar day. It's mid-80s, dude. <laughs> Sunday bar? <laughs> Look at that. It's just an ice cream it's cup. It's cups. <laughs> with the oh wooden spoons. Oh, I hated those. On those my were teeth. always at school, like, oh, yeah. once every so often. Is this Phil Knight? The atomic dog. It's got to be, but it's got to be our boy Ben, huh? The illusion is that the finish line is the destination, but the act itself is the destination. I need $500,000. <laughs> when you find a wise critic who will point out your faults, follow him as you would a map to a hidden treasure. And there it is. 
<laughs> well, hey, he gets to go to the Sunday bar now. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, he's not wrong, right? He knows what the destination is. Is they need to be spending more, which they're which taking they won't more do, away. No. Yeah. Oh, oh Barkley cool. tape. This is awesome. This is awesome. I wonder like, if he was cheap back then, too, like Shaq says. Sam <laughs> Bowie, seven foot one. Oh, I can't believe he he fizzled out. Oh, we got a little Stockton. Six foot one guard. What is he going to ever accomplish? <laughs> <laughs> Give him Carl Malone and let's see. <clears throat> Just uh, still the all time leader in assists on offense all the time. God, I don't know about you guys, but there was nothing like watching the 97-98 finals with Utah and the Bulls. Of course, well, any of the Bulls championships, freaking wonderful. Call me a homer. That's fine. You are. Hey, what do you think of the uh, Blazers draft pick? Bowie? Yeah. I mean, he's not high team, but I like him. You're not mad about Jordan? A guard? Hell no. Averaging split 17 points, which is like 10 in the NBA. <laughs> Even the Bulls GM said that he wasn't yeah, going to change yeah, the team. Dominated, yeah, I read that. I mean, if he hadn't hit that one shot to win the title game in the college championship, he probably would have never went that high in the draw. <laughs> there you go. Have a great night. You too. Hey, you know where uh, Gonzaga is? <laughs> Spoken Washington. Oh. Yeah. Fox was too short, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I he wonder if actually... Yeah, I wonder if that's legit because that, that guy's like definitely wrong on all the calls. <laughs> I mean, he's right about the not being too impressed by a buoy, but. I don't customize my racket because the Ash Come 2 is just the way I want it, just the way it is. And it should be. Head and I have worked together since 1969, putting in all the special features we thought What's important. He seeing? So this particular head racket could have gone to you as easily as to me. Is, is, is that thinking... the old school remote? For the VCR. Is he thinking we need to do something different? He's watching Jordan just mm -hmm. on everything. Mm -hmm. The game winner after game winner. He's watching two guys move towards him, and he just still pops it. Yeah, I don't know much about basketball, folks, so you'll have to excuse me. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> love Jason Bateman so much. He's so great. They're down by one. There's under a half a minute to go. Why isn't the superstar getting the ball? Why is the ball going to the 18-year-old skinny freshman? He knows he's not getting the ball. They're in a 1-3-1 zone. What's going to happen the second Worthy comes across the lane? That zone's going to collapse on him, leaving Michael Jordan open in the corner, and the ball's going to go to him, and he's going to shoot it. Look, when he shoots it, he shoots it right away. He knows he's getting the ball. The play is drawn up for Jordan. Do you feel like your plane is on its final descent, or are you just circling? <laughs> he's three seconds away from the biggest shot of his life and the biggest shot of Dean Smith's life. Dean Smith didn't even start freshman. Michael's only the third freshman to start for the guy. He puts the ball in the hands of an 18-year-old freshman because Dean sees the same thing that I see, the same thing that Linwood Robinson saw. Greatness. Oh, oh look at that touch. The release. You know, Mason Quinn almost has the same. Almost. Too risky. You want the whole budget? Whole budget. Can't do that. We're going to spread it across three or four players. Guess who else has 250K? Adidas. Jordan has made it abundantly clear that he doesn't want to come here. So you would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. Do you have that? Yeah, I can tell him the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I do not love it. <laughs> Michael Jordan. I told Strasser months ago, never going to happen. Well, you never talked to me. I'm doing you a favor. Michael's not even taking a meeting with you. What do you mean? A meeting? A group of two, maybe four or five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan's going to Boston uh, on Thursday. That's Converse. And then Nuremberg for Adidas on Saturday. And then we're going to close. Nuremberg? Would you cut the shit? If <laughs> <laughs> what are they offering? I don't see a world where it's south of 250. No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> if you really look at Jordan like I did, you're going to see exactly what I see. The most competitive guy I have ever seen. He is a fucking killer. What is the competition? Well, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know the last thing any of us want to talk about today is business. Oh, my God. That's Jay Moore. Oh, it is. Wow. We must go on. He did say that. I haven't seen him in forever. We have a great opportunity okay. for Adidas America. Didn't... 
didn't Jay Moore play uh, in Jerry Maguire as yep. Bob Sugar? Is there Sugar the agent? <laughs> Tell me you didn't sign with Bob Sugar. <laughs> yeah, are they home now in Carolina? Don't call them, okay? I'm not fucking kidding. That'd be inappropriate and unprofessional. <laughs> so is outright refusing a meeting. That's just business. Why does Michael want Adidas? Because he likes their tracksuits. We'll get him every tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I see an offer in writing, I have no obligation to inform my client. David, don't fucking hang. <laughs> mm. He's going to get it, obviously, but how? It's just how close they were to missing it. Yeah. But Stan, hey, crushing the music. get me a ticket to L.A. Plane ticket. Leave it at the gate. I'm not going to make the meeting tomorrow morning. I got to go to L.A. See George Raveling. Who? How'd you get a job in the basketball division? George <laughs> Raveling, coach of the Olympics, Iowa. Best man at my wedding. Jesus, Al. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I said to him, I said, hey, that was the best speech I ever heard. He takes the speech, he folds it up, and he puts it in my pocket. I'm looking for my favorite line. It's not in there. Then I noticed the whole second half of the speech is completely different. What was the line you were looking for? I have a dream. Come on. Holy shit. Um, you have that? Yeah. See, the first half, he noticed the audience wasn't with him, and he changed the whole thing, made the whole speech up right there on the spot. Wow. Wow. So are you saying I should contact the Jordans? And... Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> That's your voice. Yeah. Your voice tells you to do stupid shit. <laughs> your voice made me a part of history. <laughs> that don't matter about what Phil is thinking or anybody's thinking. All that matters is how much do you believe? I believe in you. You know, I was actually expecting you to try to talk me out of it. You weren't going to listen anyway. <laughs> Fine, I got a one-bedroom apartment. I ain't got no more room for nobody. I'm sorry. I got two rags, one towel. <laughs> He's a minimalist. <laughs> <laughs> two rags, one towel. It would have been unprofessional for me to just call him up. Right, so you just thought you'd show up at the front door. Look, if anybody back there has where I am, just tell him I'm sick. You got it. Sick in the head. <laughs> 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 oh, that's gonna I don't think I've ever seen a phone, a desktop phone, in no. a box like that. No. Never. That's the first time for me. And I'd like to. I'd like to think what, we've what, all went through some phones in our lives. Yeah. Back. What in the kind day. of uh, kind of automobile is that, guys? It's like the one behind him was a uh, was a Buick Regal. Yeah. Is he here? He is. Well, you don't need to see him. It's not time for that. Where'd you get that name? Sonny. Uh. It's another members only jacket, a different color, I think. Mr. Vaccaro, now you do understand that Michael's intention is to sign with Adidas with Honduras as a second option. I do. And with respect, I think that's a mistake. Um, I, I'll make a bet with you. <laughs> this is Converse, by the way. John O'Neill, he'll have his hair gelled up like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes for the Bulls. John will have a Rolex for sure. Now, I've seen a lot of basketball. But the feeling that I get when I see Michael, there's only a few other players who gave me that feeling. Now. He sounds like his Jack Nicholson when he did that. What about Michael's meeting with Adidas? Michael's top choice is Adidas. Hello, Mrs. Jordan. Oh, no. Welcome. You to can just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you should ask them. Who's running your company? I think four different people in that room are going to give you four different answers. What should I ask you? Ask me why I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. Why are you in Wilmington, North Carolina? <laughs> because I believe in your son. I believe he's different. I believe you might be the only person on earth who knows it. That's why I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. What a pitch. Mm -hmm. I'll bury you alive and light you on fire and dance and piss on your grave. <laughs> Fuck the eye hole of your skull. <laughs> You're right, I don't want to be your therapist. What the fuck with me? You can herpes simplex too, motherfucker! <laughs> simplex of herpes makes me think that you might have it, baby. Of course I do. Everyone has herpes. <laughs> because no one will fuck you. No one. I've never looked at it that way. <laughs> I will chew your fucking nutsack. Do you hear me? I will fucking take your nuts. <laughs> What, what, you think it's funny? You think it's funny? You think it's funny? David, come on, okay? We're <laughs> two out of shape, middle-aged guys. This is a little ridiculous. 
I'm not out of shape. I'm in great shape. <laughs> Unless you make an offer to Michael and close him. I will personally assure that no client of this agency ever signs a contract with Nike. And Nike will be out of the basketball business permanently. And so will you. What if we do make the deal? You and I will be best friends. <laughs> 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 they're coming to Beaverton, Colombo. Don't make me say it twice. They're co they're coming out. They're coming. I'm saying it twice now. You fucking okay. <laughs> hey, David. Yeah. I'll see you Monday. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see you in his office? Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 give me like 10, 15 minutes. No, he said now. <laughs> oh, nice. You don't need a firm offer to prep a meeting. So unless I give you the go-ahead Sunday night, you don't have a budget, a Michael Jordan line, or a firm offer to make on Monday. So I'll think about it, and if I change my mind, I'll just cancel it. I don't know how much more emphatically I can say this. If we don't make this deal, I don't know what my place is at this company. I agree. Oof. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, I remember on. that. That trivial pursuit. Cool. Your pursuit, yeah. I mean, this is an interesting dynamic and in how much, if assuming that playing on this is 100%, right? Like, yeah. how like close to the vest everything really was for everyone involved. Because mm -hmm. without this happening, like, is Nike around today? Yeah, uh, the entire world of uh, shoes is completely different. Michael Jordan is coming to Beaverton. Holy shit. <laughs> Time to see P. Oh, moving in stereo? Nope. Nope. God, the budget on music alone, I can only imagine what it was. <laughs> what? Well, Amazon likes to throw around the cash. Well, wasn't this, uh, someone cr let me know in the comments, wasn't this Ben and Matt's first studio of theirs movie, or is it their second? Mm -hmm. Let me know. Something can be beautiful, or it can be practical, rarely both. Come up with something new. <laughs> oh. Both. Humans both. have been wearing shoes for thousands of years, and the design has substantively changed once when they differentiated between the right and the left. <laughs> 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 That's great. Who's the player for the shoe? Michael Jordan. Oh, oh he does this song is appropriate <laughs> right here. Yeah. This is like the coolest movie I think yeah. I've like. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, up there, man. The the Mr. story Jordan. is just so. Oh, good. Like pleasure. The hair's me. gelled pleasure up, Mr. Jordan. Yep. We sure do appreciate you making a long trip out here. I mean, right you. Good Thank you. Oh, I like how oh, they cut they're it teasing. Out where it's just yeah. Converse All Stars. Official athletic shoe of the 1984. He's Olympic right game. though. They don't stand out. You're not an individual. They just have the green ones for Bird and the yellow. Feeling and the blue ones I for get. Magic. <laughs> I see Michael play. They're only uh, uh, Rolex. And those players. Look at the red ties. Yep. We're talking about Magic Johnson and, and Larry Bird. Ooh. He's going to be mentioned in the same sentence with them. Oh, see? What can be better than that? <laughs> number not one. Be, not being, being mentioned. Number one. Yep. Being Ugh. mentioned above them. Oh, oh there so they are. Look at that. They literally are not permitted to be a single additional percentage point. Red. Is that true? What is the actual rule? 51% of the shoe has to be white. NBA is extremely true. Oh, right. yep, yep. They'll Remember fine him $5,000 a game. Oh, that'll make people want it even more. We're fucked. Remember, players in the NFL were getting with that until they changed that a few years ago, too. Yeah. A lot more red. And what about if we just pay the fines, make a commercial out of it? Give us headlines. Oh, They're going to fine genius. Michael Jordan for being oh. too colorful. Yes. <laughs> yes. More red. <laughs> I love this guy. He's awesome. Individualistic. That's it. God, the NBA really had rules like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought it should be called Air Soul, but that's no. not it. Air Jordan. Here we go. Yep. Well, what is it? Air Jordan. Legendary. Oh. That's perfect. What's wrong? I think David Falk said the same name. What? No, fuck that guy. We just <laughs> tell him he said it. Yeah. You said it. Okay. okay. David Falk. 
<laughs> Air Jordan. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh my god. So many great songs that have to get know. cut for the YouTube edit. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Get Affleck out there in his joggers. <laughs> well, he was a jogger. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to make it, we got to take risks. Spoken like a man without a seven-year-old on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> mm. Well, there's that. I mean, he has a life, too, so it's mm. not like... Yeah. A shoe was always just a shoe until someone steps into it. Happy birthday. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bottle of, uh, of alcohol. Hey, Kangi. We're ready. All right. Oh, is this going to be a big reveal? I think so. Here it is. This is a mock up of the shoe will look. I got to say, it's beautiful. It has the logic of water, <laughs> it's natural. Like the shoe was always here, like it always existed. <laughs> The NBA has rules, but we have options, yes. And I know this is a family business, but who makes the final decision? Well, unfortunately, the family has suffered a tremendous loss. Kato is calling the shots now. Yes, that's right. It is uh, collaborative, so. Ah, oh. it's like he's... Die Entscheidung treffen nicht. Bitte, bitte, bitte. Uh, uh, decision. Muss ja jemand die richtige Entscheidung treffen. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, uh, Dunzo. Oh. Oh. Hey. Just, there it is. Hey, hey, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna oh, say yes. just I was gonna say for them, just one of them just bite their tongue for the time being if you really want short at yep. this point. <laughs> it's still worth it. God, this music just always gets me jacked up. <laughs> Look at those tights. The Look shorts. at that outfit. The coat. That's got oak written all over it. <laughs> Pete actually thinks we should call it Air Jordan. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What about you? Well, how'd you come to that solution? Went for a run. Ah. Ah. Remember to focus on your breath. <laughs> <laughs> then know you're breathing in. When you breathe out, simply know you're breathing out. <laughs> Chris Tucker. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Prefontaine in the background. Just a little long. Mm. Always seem like you're leaving when I I bet you the story from Marlon Wayne's is gonna come back. He's gonna throw out half the speeches and say it's not working. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Good call. Because Honestly, I don't know why he'd have a speech. He didn't have a speech ready for the mom when he no. talked to her, you know. And I'm a marketing guy, you know. I got a few moves. You got a few moves? <laughs> Sweet little hook shot off the glass. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. It's the cream. Oh, God. God I'm not, I, like, you know how the story goes, obviously. Yeah. But I'm still nervous. You keep waiting. I know. Like, I know, are they going to pull it off? It's like, like oh, yeah. that, can they get it done? Like, uh, uh. It's that, like, that anticipation, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Well, it's like how they didn't, they still haven't shown Michael Jordan. They haven't shown the shoe yet. They're really teasing it. Got Augie's at the airport. Oh, is that right? And, uh, and Michael, did you, did you not fly them out yourself? Oh. They jumped so high. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that would be a total <laughs> Bateman <laughs> comment. Yeah. Uh, take a look. Yeah, oh, there it is. is. There's the reveal. What do you think about that? They're called Air Jordan. I, I know you like your shoes low to the ground. We'll, we'll tailor them however you like. The, the shoe will be designed specifically for you. We'll build it off a, a mold of your... <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I was just explaining to Michael that we're going to... Uh... I, I was, I'm just was explaining for a second that... that that I, I'm the CEO of this company <laughs> and it's worth nearly... A... <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, really? Oh, my God. It's so important. I told my secretary I wasn't going to miss this no matter what. <laughs> Go ahead, Sonny. Oh, well, I was just geez. telling Michael that we were going to pay any fines incurred by the shoes design. Yeah, it's the first time he, he doesn't know. It be one per game. Right. You know. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'll let it speak for itself. I just 
I'll hit go here and just get it started. <laughs> oh, oh no! He, he's yeah, gonna, he's yeah. gonna do it. He's, he's gonna rip up the it. speech. Yep. He's gonna speak from the heart. He's not. He knows. Yeah, they're losing him. He, they're losing him. I'm sorry. Turn it off, Rob. Turn it off, Just, Sonny. Please, Sonny. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we'll build you into something that doesn't even exist. You're going to change the fucking world. But you know what? Once they've built you as high as they possibly can, they're going to tear you back down. It's the most predictable pattern. We build you into something that doesn't exist, and that means you have to try to be that thing. This is so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. You're going to be attacked, betrayed, exposed, and humiliated. And you'll survive that. Ooh. A lot of people can climb that mountain. It's the way down that breaks them. Because that's the uh, moment. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Can you summon the will to fight on through all the pain and rise again? Who are you, Michael? That will be the defining question of your life. And I think you already know the answer. And that's why we're all here. A shoe is just a shoe. Until somebody steps into it. <sighs> then it has me. <laughs> <laughs> You're Michael Jordan. And your story is going to make us want to fly. I'm ready to run through a goddamn wall. <laughs> Box already shared this with you, but I wanted to give it to you in person because it's the most significant offer Nike basketball has ever made to any athlete. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost made it. Others to bid in a similar range. Hey, did. Oh, did he go higher? I on bet it? he did. I did. bet he went 500. Nike has long been in search of its basketball star. We believe you are that star. Did they go 500? Or is it the stock options? Let's take a hard look at everyone's numbers and uh, we'll let you know when we let you know. Great speech. Emotional. Great, thanks, David. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? He was great. Here you go, Sonny. What the fuck is that thing with, with the fines, by the way? <laughs> It's a hell of a speech. It's good. It's good. Everyone at this table will be forgotten. I think I'm going to be. <laughs> Phil's I'm not, I think I'm going to be. I think I've done something impressive. <laughs> it was a good speech. I was. I thought he was going to do got... that during the meeting. <sighs> good one to end with. The way they showed the like the clips of real life, life. That yeah. shit was next level. That was that was real awesome. powerful. And I love this song. Uh, what a classic. I mean, isn't this one kind of overplayed a little bit? No. It's no. not overplayed. Every, every high school it's, dance. It's that good <laughs> that there is no... It's like overplaying... Uh, it's like overplaying, you know, Journey. I'm you just, know? I'm just pl playing. <clears throat> oh, pager beeping. It's going to say 23911. <laughs> <laughs> See, those are what we call. I know how it ends. <laughs> 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 um, look, uh, nothing from the Jordans. Okay. Uh, well, you know, soon as and uh, you have the home number. I do hope they give us a time frame of how much time went by, because mm -hmm. I don't know. Thank you for everything you did. No problem, son. I'm here for you, man. I appreciate that you that you believe in me, man. See you, man. God, he's thinking that's his whole career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody else is the whole division. Yeah, it's more than just one. Yep. Yep. See, See that's what he's looking at. Yep. He owes him to try something. He's got to hit a buzzer beater. I believe that was a Shelby on top of his computer, wasn't it? The call. Hello, Falk. Call back. Mr. Vaccaro. Oh. Mrs. Jordan. I have some news for you. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Michael will accept the 250000 salary guarantee. And the shoe will be named for Michael and our family. What? What? Yes. Uh, really? 
<laughs> no, this is no great decision. Uh, I, you're not going to regret it, and I, I can give you my personal guarantee. I'm not finished. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Michael will get a percentage of the revenue yes! of the same yeah! shoe that is sold. I'm sorry. <laughs> not all Nike shoes, just the ones with his name on them. Yep. You're using what? his name. Nike's a public company, so that it, they can't. That would disrupt the industry, and they wouldn't. They, um, they, there's a there's a whole other set of economics around this. It's very complicated. Yeah, I'm sure it's quite complicated. <laughs> In order for young people, many not of real means, to want to go out and spend the money that they've worked all week, two weeks, at the mall for, then Michael has to create the meaning in that shoe. His name is on that shoe. Yeah, so actually we think that's a benefit to him because his likeness gets marketed by Nike. His likeness, his name, is not in any way meaningful to Nike unless he scores 40 points a night. <laughs> beats Akeem as Rookie of the Year, makes All-Star and All-NBA team. Okay, that would be exceptional. And <laughs> well, <laughs> Sidney Moncrief is the Defensive Player of the Year. Adrian Dantley won the scoring title. They're not, you, you don't get to be Magic and Michael Cooper. It's fast. <laughs> because if he does what I think he's going to do, what you also think he's going to do, and what Michael knows he's going to do, then it won't be the NBA promoting my son. I promise you, it'll be the other way around. And in that case, yep. he deserves a piece. This is Jordan. I I understand what you're saying. I, I actually agree with you, but that's just not how it goes in this life. Is this a real conversation? <laughs> You purport to know a good deal about my son. You tell me. Is it me who believes in Michael, his name? Or am I just a healthy reflection of who he is and what he believes about himself? Hmm? Nice. Solid. Hmm. Isn't that why you came to my home? Yes, it is. Okay. Now I'm going to put it to you plain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get $250,000 and a Mercedes Benz that will be forgotten in a year. But he gets a piece of the revenue of the shoe and all future Air Jordan shoes. A shoe is just a shoe until my son steps yep. into it. <laughs> Did he tell him or is he about to? He already told him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no oh, so he's on his way. Okay. I wasn't yeah, sure if that was like... he's been waiting for the call. I heard you were down there closing with mother. Adidas matched. He needs more. Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. Hey. He wants a piece of the shoe, a gross revenue, just everything with his name on it. I'm really sorry. He wants to let Phil make the decision. Yep. He didn't want to tell him what Phil has to do. You should do it. Yeah. Oh, he knew exactly what he yep. was doing. You'd be putting yourself in a real bad spot. They, they could call for your removal. If this guy is who you think he's going to be. Best thing that ever happened to this company. <laughs> 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 it's a big risk. You remember for the rules you break. Close the fucking deal. <laughs> yes. Hey, Sonny. That's how I built this company. <laughs> I get it, Phil. <laughs> Go get it. <clears throat> <laughs> you think he's just uh, Some, oh. something to be said for that? I was wondering if he's going to show up. The Nike Corporation is going to accept your terms. For Michael Jordan, a direct revenue share from the sale of every single shoe with his name on it. Anywhere they are sold in the world. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak with him? Yes. It's time. It's cool to see her get that sigh of relief too, because right. she was the one like going in. You like, know, yeah, directly. she wanted him there yeah. too. Yeah, you know she didn't want Adidas after that meeting. Hello. Hey, Michael. Welcome to Nike. He did he not even look? I don't even think he knows. I need to see you in the bullpen. Hey, Sonny, you know it's um, important, Rob. <laughs> oh, See, I thought they were gonna look through the windows to each other, but yeah. he's got his blinds closed. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they just did the shot going out the window. Yeah, him on the phone. Hey, everybody, we just signed Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even wait. Couldn't even wait. Couldn't. 
<laughs> I wonder if they're going to do like a breakdown at the end of like still today, like figures. Oh, I'm sure. I, oh, Jesus. <laughs> at the Crazy. buzzer. Yeah, well, the what UN can I file? tell you? I love the suspense. I was the next big guy in uh, college. I'm not going to lie to you, David. I'm told you have lawyers on six-figure retainers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the kind of guy that would like to know when someone makes a fucking plan. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You'll be gone in a year. No more <laughs> rabbits to chase. Wow, that's the thing about rabbits, you know? You never know, because they just make more rabbits. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I think he's the exact type of player who should be wearing Nikes, and I think you can sign whoever you want after the deal we just made. <laughs> You'd be thanking me. For, for what? <laughs> for coming up with the name of the shoe. Air Jordan? Yeah. No, nah, that was Pete. Oh, because he'd want did a piece I of it. Did I or did I not say Air Jordan? <laughs> oh, uh, the old who came up Nothing with the name. name. We're closed. Congratulations. You okay? Just concentrating on my breath. <laughs> Doing a forgiveness meditation for myself. <laughs> <laughs> You think it would have been successful with that name? No. <laughs> now you name it after the goddess of victory. It's probably more appealing to competitive athletes. We just did that because the consultants told us people like four-letter words. <laughs> I like four-letter words. <laughs> hey, what about well, the swoosh? We all do. Supposed to be sound. Sound of what? <laughs> hey, Carolyn Davidson, thirty-five dollars for that <laughs> line in nineteen seventy-one. <laughs> My, I said it would grow on me. Oh, maybe it will. That's what he just said about Air Jordan. They'll grow on me. Yep. You're a brilliant guy, Sonny. You have courage. That's what you do here. Thanks, Phil. I think it'll be fine. It's the most we ever sold in a shoe. Three million dollars. <laughs> mm, <laughs> just be writing just them sweet. big checks to MJ. How much could it be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. And it's three first million year. was their biggest. Oh. So that guy right there, if you're not familiar, was a runner, late 60s, 70s, named Steve Freefontaine. He was unofficially Nike's first athlete they ever signed. He was a, a, a long-distance runner, went to the University of Oregon. Hey, how's it going? Incredible. Good, athlete. how you doing? Pretty good. Oh, boy. Here we go. Is it crow eating time? I can believe we didn't get him. Oh, you knew he was going to be good? I knew. <laughs> we all knew. Hmm. Mr. Fire Stool. Have a good one, man. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knew. Everybody knew, huh? Everybody. Don't tell me. Is he going to have a track a suit? Oh! <laughs> oh, he's going up jogging. He's running, yeah. I was going to say, I thought they were going to show him in a Jordan track suit or something. Or one of those uh, <laughs> South Korea yeah. Adidas knockoffs. <laughs> Rev was talking about. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna blow a hammy. No way. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Sonny. You got it in ya. Four oh. million. Oh, unreal. Nice. I'm glad they're showing us the stats yeah. though. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, they did mention the song. So. Yeah. Is it his car? Yep. There it yep, is. There's the Merc. The <laughs> Merc. Michael got his car. It's the Mercedes he wanted. Yeah, the Merc. Mercedes. Oh, Merc. Yeah, when you I'm say like, that, Merc. it's more I like you oh, Mercury. Mercury. Oh. Yeah. Credit. Wow. Nice. Father's currently. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Nice. Still. Look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's the Jeez. Media. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blades. There it is. <laughs> the grape. The grape Porsche. Porsche. Is he gonna steal from is himself? Gonna he's gonna take no Remember, it's not stealing. It, there's no cashier. <laughs> he's <laughs> stealing from himself. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh, oh bummer. 
Oh, nice. Wow. Uh, it's all him. He that was, was him. I was, he dude's was, a beautiful mind. Yeah, he was the guy. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, look at that. that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, so there's the real. Okay. Sweet. Oh, there is. Yeah. Cool. He's eating alone. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the other plates off. Oh, 100 million. That's it? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. That's cool giving him some support. Yeah. Right there. Wow. <laughs> so he went on a key, very key figure in 14. Oh. Yep, there you go. Wow. Pretty much did. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. We're finally getting the first NCAA game next year. Mm. Yep. Didn't just change it for one family. They changed it for, for all a lot. Families. The goat. Second that. Yep. Full stop. The goat. That. Full stop. End of story. The greatest. <laughs> uh, I, was, I gotta be a. Oh, here. they're doing the be like my highlights. Gatorade commercial. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yep. Yeah, gotta doing watch. That. Oh, it's an actual <laughs> commercial too. Yeah. Oh, he's got the Carmine Sixes. <laughs> Told you I know my sneakers. She's still at this stage. I'm 46 years old. She's still parenting me. <laughs> <laughs> I love her to death. I love her to death. <laughs> Still, my favorite part of the, about the 92 Dream Team is uh, Charles Barkley ah, singing that song man. to Jordan in the hallway, but then he says, Be like Chuck instead of Be like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I wish they would, and I know they wouldn't, but like part of me wishes that they had some of the trash talking going on here in the credits from like being yeah, in, like with, some, some with Chuck inside, and all them. Yeah. Some inside stuff. Yeah. Kind of like in the. Uh, ESPN yeah. uh, guys that was hands down the fastest hour and 48 minutes of a movie I think I've go. ever watched and yep. it's it's not even close how quick that went what wow, what that an was, amazing that was an amazing film fun. this was first off Chris Tucker absolute <laughs> a plus call this uh like a reboot or a rebirth of his career a renaissance whatever you want to call it Chris Tucker absolutely destroyed this part he was incredible of course, we are familiar with what Matt Damon and Ben Affleck can bring to the table when they're given the, the proper roles. They were just outstanding. What I really liked was my guy, Jason Bateman, being just having that side of being a jerk in him that I absolutely love when he plays those it's roles. Quick hitters. Oh, when he's just being kind of arrogant like that and being a just oh he's the man when he's like that but you know there was so much in here that you can take from it i mean what i liked is how they never showed us michael jordan or the shoe and they did show the shoe in the meeting but they still never showed us jordan until like the deal came through and then we started seeing all the clips of michael and everything because it's like it's almost like he didn't become michael jordan until the deal happened, until he got the shoe, until it was all done, then he became what we all know as Michael Jordan. I, I just thought that was awesome. The The cinematography in this mm. was outstanding. The music was absolutely incredible. You could you could put a, a compilation together of all the music they had in here and sell it on some uh, late night you know infomercial or whatever. <laughs> People probably buy it. Soundtrack but, uh, in 1984. Uh, again, you know, what I really liked is I love when they have a character – in like Matt Damon, who's absolutely so sure of himself that when he has, because we've seen it before in some movies where he knows what's going to happen. He tells the person exactly how their meeting's going to go, exactly what's going to happen. And it went exactly as planned. And uh, I believe it was Viola Davis. She was incredible well, in she's, this. She's and great in whatever she What she was able to sell with her facial mm -hmm. expressions at those meetings was great. And I thought Con or, uh, Adidas rather completely blew it when they started talking in German just that little bit because it's like, oh, what, you you excluded me? You're trying to make me a part of this deal and be in your family? You're going to exclude me like that? When that happened, I, I, I don't know if they intentionally made it so in the movie, but the way I took it was that she was checked out and she was done once yep. that happened mm -hmm. in the deal. So, Well, and to, to your point on that, like 
uh, <laughs> Sonny like teed everything up. Oh, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch this. They're going to yep. say this. They're Ask gonna... them this question. And then so yep. everything happened. And then, yeah, as soon as it did, it, you could like they did a good job of showing her face of like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and she can sell it, man. Oh, yeah. God, can she sell it? So I absolutely love this movie. It, I said dude, this was the fastest hour and 47 minutes ever. I mean, it, it was so quick. It was so enjoyable. Everybody crushed their roles. I loved it. I'll let you guys. Well, Hit, hit Obviously, you have the, the soundtrack was just an amazing. Like you knew every single one of those songs, and just even if you didn't like one of them. But anyways, I digress. But like Ben Affleck did a, just a great job directing this, as he has always done with anything he directs, except for didn't he do uh, that one with Jennifer Lopez? Well, that let's wasn't talk good. about the good anyways, times. Anyways, so <laughs> but Matt Damon is again. We saw him in Ford v, Ford v Ferrari yep. doing a crushing it as you know playing a, a historical figure in a sense and he did the same thing here like i didn't know much about sonny so it, he just but he made it seem like i've known him my whole life the way he was so sure of himself willing to do what everyone's telling him hey don't do it don't go to their house oh yeah well i'm going to their house and in yep. fact i'm going to call you from the car <laughs> on the way there and just also though seeing all the the old time pieces and where everything was and how they included that all in with at the beginning with the movies and the commercials and then the converse i found it wasn't too much of a hit piece against right. adidas or converse they, they didn't do anything to like really go at them i mean especially when now they own converse which i guess i didn't know that yeah i, I didn't know did, that did, until did they you said guys so. that i had no idea they, so they've they've they didn't they own it, but in the sense that they they kept a lot of like the, the Converse is still style. kind of Converse okay. is still yeah. Converse. It's, it's like but, division. It's like Google buying YouTube or, or you it's know. Okay. I mean, it's like but YouTube. but it's still, still it's still part of the under yeah. the Nike umbrella. So that was just really fun to see. But yeah, then uh, Chris, so then Chris Tucker, I noticed like how he was like talking with kind of his voice and flesh. And so that's then when I saw that Howard White is still there and still doing, I was like, oh, he must have sat down and had a few conversations with him because he brought that character to yeah, life too so and then energy. then matthew Marr as peter moore wow what a brilliant guy what just a brilliant brilliant guy and a great job acting I, this was so much fun even down to Jul julius tenet as james jordan just watching his wife do her thing and like and laughing and smiling <laughs> with everything it was great i love this i gotta be honest i think that one of the most interesting pieces of this entire movie that I found, and I'm I'm not going to say I'm a history buff, but I, I I like watching my documentaries. I like educating myself on on certain aspects of history, and I it has nothing to do with Nike or Jordan. I think it's absolutely incredible, and I did not know this that that gentleman had Martin Luther King Jr. Oh yeah, first yeah. half of his I have a yeah. dream speech in his pocket. I mean, talk about uh, uh, and I, I don't know how many people know that. I mean, talk about a, a, a nugget realized. of history where he just George. Yeah, George Raveling. George, George Raveling. I mean, and then Mama they said Wayne's at the end, it, the somebody way. tried buying it for three million and he, and he yeah. turned it down. What an incredible piece of history. But I think this is what intrigued me the most is just how they showed us how close everything we know, how close the history was to being completely different than where we're at today. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can talk about Jordan being a brand of shoes or clothes or whatever, but its impact across the globe has been, you can't even put it into words. I mean, high schools, colleges, everything, Jordan this, yeah. Jordan that. And it's um, it's really incredible to not, not to necessarily see the story of about how it came about and how everything started. I mean, that's a really cool story. But for me, the coolest part of this was to see how close um, you know, when they were going, and I think they tried showing that when they went down the draft board. I mean, obviously, Barkley mm -hmm. did well. Uh, Elijah Wan, I believe, was... Well, he was, yeah, the yeah, number one. Number player. one. I mean, Elijah Wan did very well for himself, but a lot of John Stockton. Stockton. But a lot of those names are names that that we don't really... I mean, obviously, look, he made it into the NBA. They're phenomenal athletes, but as far as, you know, being historical figures in the world of the NBA, there was a small handful on that list. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Um, the act, I mean, the acting in this movie, I mean, you know, we, we talked about in the intro, Hey, it's got a heavy hitting cast. I mean, but, um, the, everybody, I mean, C Chris Tucker, I mean, I haven't seen him mm -hmm. in forever and he came out and was absolutely amazing. Um, right down to him holding Chris, his knee. Chris yeah. Messina that played the agent 
was oh, phenomenal. So I mean, yes. when he had his big rant, it kind of gave me vibes. Remember in Tropic Thunder where Tom Cruise was playing Les Grossman and just went no. off? He hasn't seen his I don't. Oh, oh it's, well, you'll you'll enjoy it. But <laughs> I, it, that rant gave me those vibes. Um, Matt Damon and Jason Bateman were phenomenal. Ben Affleck, I mean, yeah, who doesn't love Ben Affleck? But he just killed this film night role. Um I really think the star of the show was Viola Davis and her her portrayal of Michael Jordan's um, mother. She's a scene stealer, um, and she's she's look, she's amazing in mm -hmm. everything she does. Good, you, you can't find a movie that she's in where she is not just absolutely incredible. But she played the role so well, and you have to imagine, you know, every single one of these college athletes, you know, coming into whether it be the NBA or the NFL or Major League Baseball. Um, you know, you, you're getting thrown in, into the deep water with the Sharks. You have these agents who are supposed to represent you, all the companies, teams, and everything. And we saw his mother just very level-headed. Mm. You know, it's interesting that, you know, she was kind of taking, you know, she was taking point on... And how much she believed. On mm -hmm. on, 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 on everything with the direction yeah. her son was going to head. And um, she she believed in him. Um, you know, I, uh, I I thought it was great when she, at the end she was like, but there's one more thing. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to take a percentage of sales. Now, I also found it very interesting. Um, and look, I'm going to guess that it's relatively historically accurate look mm. look this some is liberty the, the thing is here here's the thing with something with 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 like this is that it's not so old that you can't do a, a certain amount of research and yeah. you know kind of pick out the what's the truth from what's you know dramatization for the film so i'm, I'm guessing it was you know relatively accurate to, to most to, to most points but to know that sunny you know when she said like hey he wants a percentage. Um, you know, he, he basically was telling her she couldn't do it, but she kind of kept her cool mm -hmm. and was like, this is what's happening now. Of course, David Falk's character <laughs> uh, told us at the end, nobody else was matching the percentages, so yeah. they played it mm -hmm. up a little. What I really loved at the end, though, was when Matt Damon came up to Phil Knight, and I feel like he did that very purposely because knowing how Phil was, I think he had walked up and said, we need to give Jordan this percentage, yeah. then oh, we can't do it, we can't do it. But when he walked up and said, yeah, it's, it's not a done deal, well, now you're challenging Phil Knight to get it done. Um, I, I agree with Mason Quinn. This is one of the, the I mean, this movie went by like mm -hmm. that. And it's the, the, the it's so impressive. We know how the story ends, right? Yeah. Like yeah. the whole time, it's like, you know, he signs, yep. you know, there's some ins and outs you might not know, but it kept you on the edge of your seat. Like, I'm like, guys, <laughs> is he going to do it? Is he going to sign? Well, of course we know he signs. I'm sitting here wearing my Jordan jersey here. I got a bunch of Jordans at home. I'm a little bit of a, a sneaker head, so I have my Jordans. But um, this movie was, I mean, I, I figured it was going to be good given the, the actors and who was in charge of it, but I had no idea that it was going to be this good. So the one little tidbit that I do know about this uh, film going into it was I believe Ben was on Kimmel and Matt was on Fallon, and they both, of course, promoting the movie, mm -hmm. uh, they both uh, highlighted on there that the one request... Uh, that Michael had was Viola had to play his mom. Oh, really? Wow. And, so and was, picked oh. MJ. Yeah, so that that was at least one one thing that they shared that I remember. Talk so, about, of course, if I'm missing anything, let us know. Talk but, about giving a grid actress a little extra motivation. <laughs> well, exactly. Like, already a, like you said, already a great actress, now getting hand-picked by <sighs> Michael. I, I wonder wow. I, if there is an interview. I, I should search now. Now that I've finally seen this and got it out of the way, right. I should mm -hmm. search to see if she did any interviews. At, uh, and if anyone asked her, was like, hey, is there any additional pressure that you're going to put on yourself now Now that Michael asked <laughs> Requested. Yeah. get you on this project, yeah. right? Um, otherwise, I think you guys did a pretty good job of talking about everything. The one thing I want to talk about is actually the kind of what you were saying there, Oak, with like, we know what happens, but <laughs> with with the whole thing of we know what happens, at least for me, uh, like going on the ride with Sonny, yeah. like at least I felt like, because I'm, I'm a Michael Jordan fan, always been since a kid, uh, you know, seeing that side of things, like we were like side by side with Sonny, or at least I felt like I was yeah, side by side with Sonny. I didn't know the story. Feeling the same emotions, even though I was like, all right, we know in the end, but 
holy shit, this, like the tension on this of like the storytelling, yeah, is is not gonna happen. Nope. I thought uh, all, all this whole cast uh, did great. Great to see Chris Tucker. Uh, great to see uh, Bateman uh, do his role. Uh, of course, Matt and Ben killed it. Of course, Viola killed it. Uh, but uh, everyone else, uh, like Matthew Marr, like you were saying, I thought he did phenomenal. Um, everyone else, uh, Marlon Wayans. Yeah, I think I think he needs to get a little. I'm he sure he's probably getting a ton it. of love, but from yep. us, I think he needs a little bit more because uh, even just that short stint. Yeah. Of him oh, being he in was here, amazing. Yeah. It was good. It I was feel like really uh, a lot of this, uh, and I'm sure Michael Jordan. I think Ben was even saying uh, like Howard, uh, Chris Tucker's character. I think that was another thing he said has to be in here somehow, some way. Okay. Uh, so again, if I'm wrong on any of this, let us know. Mm-hmm. But uh, again, fantastic job from uh, Ben and Max. I'm pretty sure that this is their from their studio that they created. Mm-hmm. And again, uh, the little pieces, I think we might have said it during uh, the reaction here. I don't know if I'm making the cut or not, but... Uh, the little drops of Matt's Sonny's speech to Jordan, that pitch meeting, like, holy shit, oh, I was ready to run through a wall. So Just the, the images. Yep, the image. I didn't know how that was going to work, but then as soon as they kept going on and the way they were hitting their points with it, I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty impactful. So, uh, again, it, it was great to kind of get a little vibe from those 80s, 90s basketball era, something that we'll never see again. Uh, and of course, that's not a shot on today. Of course, it's a little soft here and there. But <laughs> yeah, <Little. laughs> again, well, it, 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 yeah. it gave me that vibe right. back. Because I'll sit and I'll watch uh, any Bulls game with Michael in it from the old days. And I will just be like, you know, I'll be locked in. So yeah. It, yeah. it's just, it's different time. Different well, and the thing with a movie rate. like this is you can tell when the people behind it are passionate about it because mm. it just bleeds through it, the, it, the film. It really yeah. did. And, and you can one, just tell it? when they're passionate about it. And uh, that just makes such a huge difference with you know with everything they do in it. And obviously, they poured their hearts into well, it. Well, they knew it was a story that had to be told. And then, you know, then if you get Jordan on board with it, Jordan himself on board, well, then that's just going to, like I said, even for Viola, that's just a added, mm. added, you know, to bring your A game, bring your best, and and it's not like Ben Affleck doesn't do a great job directing, but it just seemed like he had, they had that extra oomph, and yeah, I did feel too, like you said, that we're in the room with Sonny the whole time. Yeah, he was, and like, but me, like, what got me is I thought at the end when Phil, Ben Affleck, Phil through through the folder, I thought he had the percentages in there. So that's where I thought she got oh, the idea. He was coming so, up so I time. thought how they didn't tell Phil they were going to pay the fines. Yeah. He told them <laughs> that, oh, he's going to give them percentages. Yeah. I was wrong, but yeah. that that almost hooked me that that would have been a great thing to have. Well, no, and, and if that would have been true. And everything Sonny said about Michael Jordan, about what was going to happen, happened. Like, look, guys. Assuming that's 100%. I'm not, real, yeah, right? I mean, assuming that's 100%. But look, I'm not a basketball fan at all. I don't. I don't watch college basketball. I don't watch the NBA at all. Zero. But I know Michael Jordan. <laughs> I like Michael Jordan. I got, you know, tons of respect for the guy. And uh, if there was anybody that I would watch, it would certainly be him. But that just shows I know what the shoes are. I know what the logo is. And everything he said happened. The guy truly is immortal. Yeah, I think I think Jordan, as, as much of, as a skilled athlete, he was known for his, his just – his demeanor, his aggressiveness, competitiveness, his competitiveness. Yeah. and and I don't know. I think the closest that we've had since Jordan, and ironically, their careers overlapped a little bit. I mean, Kobe Bryant was very much, mm. very much known for that that same mentality. But it was, you know, when you think of that, like that just killer instinct and that that competitive drive. Sometimes I think we tend to think of like like more combat sports like yeah, sports physical. that are a little bit yeah. more physical yeah. like that killer instinct like mike tyson or you know like you know some some nfl linebacker who just you know you're brian like or ray, Lack, lewis. Or, or ray <laughs> lewis or something yeah. and because basketball is not a, a contact sport and there's not that physical contact sometimes oh, people in the 80s and yeah, there certainly was but they're not tackling but each other when really, when really, was, yeah, yeah when we used to watch the lakers yeah, celtics right. where they're clotheslining each other i, I would be remiss if i didn't Kurt mention Rampus. in this review that i did not own a pair of Jordans until I was out of high school. Like a lot of you know middle class families, they were a little little out of our price range. Um, I could have probably saved up and bought a pair, but I hadn't. But in any regard, for my 
1997 junior prom, and maybe we can get Diamond Dave to drop a special picture in because I have one. <laughs> my 97 junior prom, I had my white and black tux, and I wore a pair of Jordan 12s that I borrowed from uh, from my friend Travis so I could have Jordans on at my prom, and my picture is in front of my 79 Cutlass with my absolutely beautiful date. And my Jordan 12s, now I have my nephews in, who will say, oh, you got retro 12s on for prom. <laughs> well, kids, they weren't retro 12s at the time. They were just 12s. I have a couple of pairs like them just today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, what a, this was a nostalgic trip. An incredible movie oh. and just incredible storytelling. Gretchen and Jordan, they shared about it, the charities that him and his mother and then even his ex-wife you know that happened uh my wife played at lake forest uh college for basketball <laughs> and she was a big booster there and so michael jordan was actually at one of her games that she played at no pressure <laughs> sweet uh, let's and, uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna save the answer right here his wife not only played at lake forest she's also in their hall of fame <laughs> and wasn't so all I'm american gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw that but she the, also, the plaque she, is that answers how she's also she's, very <laughs> she's also very humble so she's gonna hate this part she's in the hall of fame <laughs> for her college uh maybe she didn't well, want that mentioned, well, the game, but i mentioned it. the game he was also at they stopped the game because she had her thousandth point and 500th career rebound and they gave her the game ball and after the game she was on the court she says well he could have been saying it to anybody but said good game she thinks it wasn't her. I'm like, honey, they stopped the game it was, for it was from MJ. It was yeah. And so I'm done. You can cut that or she, she, she yeah, can fast forward yeah. that. Yeah. She can fast forward it. She doesn't have any say in the cut. Yeah. So. I'm just saying. Because real quick before we wrap up, uh, well, we obviously the too. shoes are real big. Yes, we will give the scores. Uh, do you guys have favorite Jordans? I know for me, I said earlier, the only Jordans I recognize are the original red, black, and white Jordans. Mm -hmm. To me, there are no other Jordans, but I'm also not a big sneaker head. Uh, my favorite was, like I said, uh, a kid had the Jordans in 96, oh, those ones that I showed you. Those, the 11s. The yeah. 11s. Yeah. I thought those looked pretty sharp. I'm a bit of a, I am a bit of a Jordans guy. Um, I have a handful of ones. Um, I have, there's a couple of sneaker heads that have been watching that. The 12s, the 6s, and the 5s are my favorite. <laughs> ones, 12s, 6s, and 5s. I agree with Mason Quinn. The ones, the originals are One the best. Done. I do have a pair of twos, the wing it twos. The sneaker heads out there on all those. I'm not a sneaker guy by any means, but that 96, 97, and 98 run, all of those Jordans I wanted very, very badly. I remember, I think it was in the 97 run where they had, well, whatever. 97. <laughs> I wouldn't even get into it. Yep. But yeah, those were the ones if, as a kid, I remember vividly i wanted those those were, Just, those were the 12s yeah were they 12s well there you go all right well um, gents score time i mean, I, mean I don't think there's much of a question <laughs> i got a five five out of five answers for me this is the one of the easiest fives i've ever done five out of five four point five for me i mean that's still pretty good so it was, it was, it was Dave stingy hey, with his fives. He's notorious. So. He's yeah. like the Simon Cowell with his fives. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> and after we're done recording here, he's going to watch it again. So for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, we're in the Jordan, North Carolina. There's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. <laughs> See you on the next one, pals.